Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, my tutorial. And in the previous tutorial, we talked about uh, setting up uh, the logic for aiming, and we did all the setup in the, this animator we know here. We did the aim move and then the aim, the arrow logic over here. All right. So basically, we had a setup where the user can actually pick an arrow, draw an arrow, and then pull the string to kind of like fire the arrow so we have this transition where she takes out draw the arrow pull the string and then uh, yeah basically we can also fire the arrow all right so now we are going to write the script to get everything uh running working neatly so what we're actually going to do going i'm going to go here into my scene view and the first thing i'm going to do is back in my assets folder um, I'm going to go to my assets folder where we have this free medieval weapons. Uh, these assets we downloaded some time ago. I'm going to go into the prefabs folder and drag the bow into the scene. All right. The next thing is uh, okay. Let's just focus on the bow for now. So with the bow in our scene now. Um, going to actually drag the bow sorry drag the bow to the position so what we're actually going to do is I'm going to go into my player all right and then first let me take a look at the animation which part so I want to see where the bow which hand the character is using to hold the bow so you could see she holds the bow with her left hand so in my scene view i'm going to position the bow on her left hand i think this hand here so i'm going to go into my character model and go into the hips i'm going to go into the spine spine one spine two i'm going to go into the left shoulder and then we have the left arm here, left forearm, and the left hand, all right? So I'm going to drag my bow into the left hand, and I'm going to reset the position to zero, zero, zero on the left hand. So it's exactly at origin. So I'm going, I'm going to reposition and drag this guy down here. Now I'm going to rotate on the X axis, uh, I'm going to rotate 90 on the X, so, so minus 90 on the x so it's flat like this and then drag this here a little bit come here a little bit so yeah so it's like it's non positioned on my player's hand and I think I might also rotate it uh, around the Z axis 180 degrees and yeah and bring it back to that position so uh, let me reset the position and see yeah so reset the position to zero zero so I can so I can position it very well so here we go drag it down a little bit so now it's positioned on the character's hand so we have the character holding the bow all right so now this is going to be the position of the bow all right so let me just play the game and see how it looks on the character's hand so yeah you can see the character is holding the bow all right when i rotate my camera you can see now the character is holding the bow as she should all right so yeah, i can also enter into the scene view and take a look and you can see exactly as we want it to be so the character is holding the bow now she's holding the bow right in her hand all right so with that done for us uh, the next thing is to actually um create our script okay for controlling the bow so in my script folder i'm going to create a new folder 
and this time I'm going to call this folder weapon. All right. So anything about the characters weapons are going to be stored in this folder. So this folder is going to store the script relating to the weapons. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a C sharp script and I'm going to name this bow. Okay. So the weapon our weapon is a bow, right? She has a bow. So the bow script is actually going to handle all the logic for our bow. Alright, so let's take it, let's just take it that way. So now let's open the script. So we can start doing some edits. Okay. We have that done. All right, so we have that done for us, the script created for us. Now the first thing is we are going to create uh, a serializable field, which is going to store some items relating to how the bow would behave. So we are doing a system.serializable class, and we are going to create a class, public class, and this class is going to be bow settings. So settings relating to how our bow should behave. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a serialized field, serialize the values here, and I'm going to set um, sorry, public bow settings. I'm going to create um, an instance of this class called bow settings. So, sorry, this should be semicolon. Yeah, so now we have this done. The next thing is the first thing is I'm going to create a header and I'm going to set. Um, my arrow settings as the header so this we are going to actually create settings for our arrow okay first we want to say public float arrow amount okay or let's say arrow count so this is the number of arrow the user has okay so when we fire we want to actually um, keep track of the number of arrows so when she fires she loses one arrow okay so we are going to create a game object now this game object is going to be our arrow so we'll say the arrow prefab so the arrow we're actually going to throw okay then the next thing is um i'm going to say public string should we not not string uh you're going to say transform arrow position okay so this is the position of our arrow okay so what's the position of the arrow? So the next thing is our bow settings. We are going to create a header for this, and then we're going to have um, our bow settings here. Um, should we say bow settings? No, I'll say um, for equip and unequip. Okay, bow equip and uh, on equip settings, all right? So this will handle how our bow is equipped and not equipped. So these variables are going to be first, it's going to be public transform the bow equip position. So we say equip pose for equip position, and then the public transform, you're going to say on equip pose for when our bow is not active, it's actually in the on equip. Uh, position it should actually be in on a position that's what it means so when we our bow uh, our bow is equipped we'll, the bow has to move to the equip position when the bow is not equipped that means the user is not aiming and doesn't want to fire an arrow the bow has to be in what we call the on position all right so with that said the next thing we have to do is um i think we need to store some other values here and then uh, we can say we are done uh, with the next one is going to be header and i'm going to say bow string settings okay string settings now what we are going to do is we are going to store um a transform and then it's going to be our bow string okay the next one is um we're going to have a public 
um, transform again we are going to say string initial position so string initial pose and then the next one is going to be public transform string hand pull pose so okay this is for animating the string on the arrow so when you pull it should actually follow the hand so that's why we have this string hand pull pose and we have this string initial pose and then uh the bow string itself right so in fact the bow string uh okay yeah so that's it it should be a transform so now what else what else can we do and then we can say this is done yeah the last thing will be a uh, public transform and this is going to be string initial parent all right here we go so now we have this set up for us so what else um, the next one will be a header and this will be for the crosshair okay the crosshair that shows on the screen we'll say crosshair settings on the crosshair settings we will need a crosshair prefile we'll say public game object we are going to say crosshair prefab right so here we go crosshair prefab the next one is we we'll need um yeah i think that's it so that'll be a crosshair prefab right so that's it so with this said and done the next thing also is even though we set okay so what we do is let's take this crosshair settings out okay so we are going to put it here it's not going to be part of this serialized class anymore so the crosshair settings is all going to be here we are going to have another game object okay and this time this game object is going to be the cross okay okay so it's going to be actually we are going to name it current so the current crosshair active in our scene right so that's what's going to be it's going to be current crosshair right now let's see what we can do so we are also going to need uh, a boolean value okay so now let's say boom and then we are going to say can pull string so if the user can pull the string then we allow them to pull the string okay so that's that and then we'll have another one who can fire arrow so now can fire arrow is actually going to help us so if the user uh, doesn't have any amount of uh if this arrow count value over here is zero that means the user doesn't have any arrow okay the user has fired all their arrows so they have no arrow left so can fire arrow has to be false has to be false so when can fire arrow is false we don't actually give the user a chance to fire the arrow so that's what this over here is going to do all right now the next thing is we have to set some few 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 things over here we have to do some changes some few few stuff some functions and all that yeah so first one we're going to do is equipping the bow and unequipping the bow all right so now we are actually going to create um void equip bow all right so this function is responsible for equipping the bow so now our bow um 
in our bow settings we had a um, bow equipment on equip settings over here all right so now what we are going to do is when you want to equip the bow we'll say this the transform sorry not tag this the transform dot position should be equal to so we enter our bow settings sorry it should be the instantiated bow uh, the yeah bow settings dot all right now we want to equip the bow so we we'll say dot equip pose dot position so now we want to set the bow to the equip position okay that's what we do over there and then we're also going to set the rotation this dot transform dot rotation okay and it's going to be equal to bow bow settings dot equip pose dot rotation all right so some of these things might not make sense but when we start uh doing the relevant changes to the unity editor it, it will begin to make sense so now we're also going to set the parent this dot transform dot parent now one last thing okay to set the parent we need a reference to we'll say public uh transform uh we'll say on equip parent just like we have the on equip transform we are going to do the same one we're going to say public transform over here we're going to say equip parent so we are going to have the uh, on equip parent and the equip parent all right so the parent object to equip to so now we'll say both settings dot equip okay parent so we want to equip to the equip parent and there we go we have this setup for equipping the bow to so unequip the bow is the same thing but we are going to change everything here to unequip all right so we can just uh copy this guy here and then uh paste this method here and then change this to unequip on equip bow and then you can see at the top here we have equip pose on equip pose on equip parent equip parent so they are just changing to the relevant one so you see in the equip we use the equip in on equip we want to use the on equip pose and on equip parent so over here we are actually going to use the on equip uh, pose not parent on equip pose we can copy and then the same for this guy on equip pose and this guy is going to be on equipped parents so now this will handle uh give us the ability to be able to equip the bow and then unequip the pole the bow all right so we can we can pick up the bow equip the bow and then we can also uh unequip the bow all right so now the next thing we actually going to do is uh we are going to actually create uh our crosshair all right when we are aiming we want to show the crosshair so this is going to be a public function public void and we can say uh show crosshair okay this is going to show the crosshair to the user now we're going to do a we're going to take a vector three from this function we're going to say uh cross hair pose so that's the crosshair position so the position on the screen to actually place the crosshair now i'm going to say if um we do not have a crosshair in our scene so uh so current crosshair the game object created called current crosshair this game object so if we do not if we don't have a current crosshair available in our scene so there's no current crosshair in our screen what we are going to do we are going to say current crosshair is equal to now we are going to instantiate or we are going to create a new crosshair okay that's what it means we are going to create a new crosshair now we are going to create a new crosshair we are going to take this from our crosshair prefab okay that game object we are instantiating that crosshair as a game object sorry game object with a capital g so game object okay and we are going to store that crosshair as our current crosshair that's if we do not have a current crosshair now after doing that we are going to say our current crosshair which we just instantiated 
dot transform dot position should be equal to our crosshair pose. Okay, this variable here, this one, this parameter coming through, we want to set it to be equal to the crosshair pose. And the last thing we want to do is we want to say our current crosshair dot transform dot look at. Okay, the crosshair should look at our camera dot main dot transform. So we should the crosshair should always be rotated to face the camera direction. Right? Now if we are no longer aiming, we don't want to show that crosshair on the screen. So we do a public void and then we are going to say um, disable or remove crosshair. You can say remove crosshair and this is not going to take any parameter and we are going to say if there is a sorry if there is a current crosshair we have a current crosshair activated in our scene we are going to actually destroy the current crosshair we don't long, we no longer want to show a crosshair so we destroy that current crosshair from our scene with that said and done we have our crosshair activated our crosshair can show and unshow all right now before we even come back to this function this script the bold script we actually want to do something um we want to go back to our movement script and then do some changes there um also so what we will do actually is um less um uh, all right let's go into our So uh, just a moment, um, I think we need to enter into our movement script and our input system to do some few changes, all right? So we have some new animations we need to set up, all right? For aiming, when it's pulling the string and then when they fire the arrow, all right? So let's actually enter into that script and then get that one done, all right? Those things done. So first of all, we uh have to enter into our movement script and we know our movement script is managing everything for us all our animation so let's go back to unity and then in the animator let's go to parameters we have our forward straight sprint and that has already been been set up in the script for us our forward straight sprint okay so we need to set up our aim fire and pull string all right so we go back and then we are going to create uh, a public string. Now this string is going to be aim and it's going to be set to be aim. All right. Now we are going to do the next one, public string. Uh, the spelling of aim is wrong, so I need to spell it right. So aim, but then and now public string, we need to say pool. Let's just set it to pool, all right? And that is, uh, let me just copy this guy. Pull string over here. And that's set to pull string, all right? And the last one is our uh, fire, all right? Public string fire equal to fire. So we have that set up for us. The next thing is create the functions to handle those animations. So first we say public void um, and we do uh, character aim. So and that's going to be a bool. And we say aim bool or we just say aiming. So if our character is aiming, then what we are going to do is we are going to say anim dot set bool. We are going to set the aim bool and we are going to say um, uh, aim strings, uh, anim strings, sorry. So, anim strings, the animator class, which is a serializable class we set up earlier on. We are going to say aim, we are going to say aiming. So, that has been done for us. 
the next one is public void character sorry should be character pool string and then that is also going to be a type of bool that's saying um pool okay that one done we can now say anim dot set bool we're going to say um the anim strings like this dot pool comma pool all right now that has been done now what we are going to do is finally the ability to fire the arrow so character fire arrow and we are going to take um this time uh we actually not going to take any parameter so we are just going to because it's not a bool parameter we are actually going to set a trigger and then we are going to say um set trigger you say anim string dot all right then we are going to say um the name of the trigger was fire so fire and that will be it we can save our movement script now i think there's an error here i took away an ending uh semicolon so, sorry an ending uh, bracket so save it and then now in our input system what we are actually going to do in our input system is actually we can even try this out all right so let's enter play so right now the animation should work if sorry no it wouldn't work now so um we have to actually go into our input system and then uh right here in our input system we need to add another input all right so we are going to say um public string okay and i'm going to say um uh it's going to be aim and aim is equal to fire is it fire two or um so in the camera controller we actually set that input over here fire two yeah so fire two and uh unity when we go here we go to edit we can go to our project settings uh we select the input manager in our input manager you can see a lot of input controls here we have the mouse x mouse y for the mouse movement and we have fire one which is set to left control or mouse zero now fire one is simply mouse zero means left click so when we left click uh we are actually doing fire one and you can see fire two is right click mouse one so when we go back and we set this input to fire two and we make use of this anywhere it will actually call the mouse right click so you listen to when the user is right clicking they will do the next one public string fire we're going to set that one equal to fire one okay and then save this guy so after saving right here in our script all we are going to do is we have the move script already here so we do move script dot character a we are going to pass um input okay dot get button and we are going to say input dot and then aim all right so with that with that's done this is actually going to call our movement script anytime we uh aim and we are going to write another one here we're going to say if input dot get button down and then we are going to say uh input like this dot fire so when we fire then now we actually going to call move script and we're going to say move script dot um uh we did the we had a character fire arrow here we go so we have the fire 
Now the next thing, before we even do this, I, I want to write an if statement and I'm going to say, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut this guy from here, the aim. I'm going to create a boolean at the top here called this aiming. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, take this, cut this guy over here and rather put this uh, aiming here. And then at the top here, I'm going to do is aiming is equal to input dot the aim. All right. And over here, I'm going to write an if statement. If it's aiming, then we actually want to check. We actually want to give the user the opportunity to fire the arrow. But if you're not aiming, we actually don't want to fire. Okay. So that's that. So. Um, uh, so no okay so there's a mistake in this line we actually not going to fire the arrow here what we actually going to do is we are calling character pull string we are going to pull the string and this is going to be input uh, dot um, fire over here uh, sorry input dot uh sorry we actually need to get the button first so we are going to say input dot get button and then we are going to say input dot fire okay so this is the right thing we're supposed to do close this and save yeah so with this setup at least uh the basic functionality of the arrow should be up and running so we play when we right click she takes out the arrow and you can see she's aiming all right so takes out the arrow when i left click see she's pulling the arrow okay so there we go when i left click she's pulling all right so there are a few touches we need to do to complete this setup but I'll, I'll end this video in the next one we are going to finish it up and make the aiming uh perfect as it should be all right so um catch you in the next one so we can perfect uh this system all right